Okay, so a little while ago I released a video regarding uh, some issues I am now facing with Premiere Pro, especially when uh, when I'm using it with enabled uh, hardware acceleration, as you can see. Sorry. In project settings. I'm uh, back to software only uh, because I wanted to see what's going on here, what's all wrong with this. So uh, there are two color mats. Uh, actually, this uh, this ball is the same color mat, the upper one with uh, pro camp light. And if I wrap up the brightness, like you can see. Well, here I am uh, applying a negative br brightness, considering that, uh, like, let's say this is a mistake. Well, uh, we darkened a blue color mat into black Sim by simply uh, tweaking the brightness control. Well, anyway, here is a uh, well. A color bar screen and SMPD whatever thing is that and here is a, a photo with uh, still no variation and the color bar is uh, set to fade like this so that's the software only option so uh, well that's the most accurate but unfortunately the software only option does have a, a lot of demands like it gets ramping up the CPU and RAM usage as you can see well I do not have a sufficient amount of RAM right now well anyway to combat for that I am using this GPU accelerated option and can you explain what the hell is happening right there? The bars and tone is on top of every single video element, uh, the color mat uh, with no variations. Well, you can see that this color mat is uh, a dark navy blue one. Well, anyway, it's on the bottom of our uh, video elements list. And it's the upper one with the Pro camp applied, and you can see now uh, a dankish, well, an ash colored line line here. If I like zoom it in, then it disappears. Well, <coughs> that's the NVIDIA CUDA option. OpenCL does not make a difference. Instead, it just it just can't perform well. Like it just can't perform as good as CUDA in terms of just speed. Well, this is the dark color mat uh, which I just uh, programmed, and it has a brightness value of negative fifty, and it's black bar when I pop this in uh, that deep blue color like penetrates into the front even though it's just under the the upper video the upper video is just bars and tone and what I'm seeing here is a complete color corruption what on earth is going on what 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 is wrong with uh, using what the hell is my GPU simply outdated or what if so why am I getting this same color corruption with the onboard graphics the OpenCL with that uh, Vulkan or uh, Intel Iris Xenon Mumbo Jumbo everything that jack of all trade fails to just perform the opacity layering as is this is black 
but now it's not black well that's not the worst case scenario let's see uh, I applied this program effect into this one, uh, photo F photo just don't mind I my pronunciation is just crap well ram down the brightness it should go dark but look at that the color still penetrated into the front let's let's switch back to uh, software only option for comparison and there the, the bottom image the, the lower image does not influence the upper image that much but with GPU acceleration it gets all ignorant and see the image is not fading out properly it, it just stays on the upper image what the hell man software only there see the difference like the whole image is visible for for more it's still it's partially visible on the black area it should be faded out by now in software only there I'm seeing a weird line there Uh, and and the second thing the the unaltered uh, color mat right here it appears as as a tad bit of a blue shade but in GPU accelerated it's it's now white so the colors here are completely incorrect this is black and this is black thanks to the procamp this is blue but here the blue turned into white and black turned into blue and so on and even if I just uh, lay down a black video behind this new black video and there This is now brighter with the black video behind it. See the This is just black and this is just a black video. The same color, the same level of brightness. But there once again what's behind or what's what's lower affects the the upper elements ever so slightly. I don't know man, uh, I'm be making up words and in the software only option this have no influence on the upper video since it's black it has no brightness let's zoom that out let's switch to CUDA since I want performance and what the hell is this and not only that, if I would say if I had to like fade up an undersized video into my full screen, uh, you know, my 16 by 9 uh, end screen end card, then I would be annoyed by these black bars. Like, uh, I don't have undersized video right now, but let's see. Okay, so here we have a, a Synthesia footage. It's a little bit undersized. Uh, if you refer it, the properties, it has yeah, 1920 by 1020, not 20, not in, not in 1080. It's 1020, and we can see some little black black bars on top and bottom of the video. Let's uh, okay. This is 
the very practical scenario I'm getting annoyed of. And here's, here I'm, uh, well, it's it's a film to solve. I don't know, man, I'm, I'm just choiceless. And uh, there we have it. The odd outline of brightness in on top and bottom of the the full screen version of my well the full screen video of my end screen but you can say like this is white and this is black so it's normal to be uh, this is normal to happen like so so then let's crop it out yes let's say I didn't want that keyboard and also the top menu effect controls here and here so let's stop right there and change our renderer and there that's that's less now darkened and well the blending method it is like it's back to the the normal bit blending method it sticks in for very longer and we can still see a slight change of brightness well that's not really br well uh, instead of that let me remind you that in my last video where I released my latest original song it's called entropy the end, sc end screen got blended in like in a totally different way and that's because I I chose the blending method called screen instead of the default blend method since that video was heavily undersized and uh, it was lower in resolution so I I also had to crop out some uh, some elements like the the device status bar on top of it it's uh, I just recorded it on my new phone thing I just brought it it has a wider or a more taller screen rather than white screen and it definitely gonna induce these black bars anyway uh, it was cropped down further and uh, scaled to the screen size uh, in a way that I wished if I can show you right there entropy this screen is completely bla black and almost the same color as the <coughs> the background with no video and here I for some reason I left up the the time uh, visible and it's still there and I just covered the whole area with a color mat as well as the bottom area got cropped leaving just the timeline at the lower boundary and here this is the screen blend since I just can't I I was just choiceless I I just couldn't apply the default blend method here since if so I would be getting these one black bar here and another two black bar on top and bottom of the screen even though the whole previous footage is just black and, I, and I'm just not getting the black when dealing with opacity changes and basically fade in and fade out which, which are I think that's the most frequent effect I'm being using right now and I just can't use it if I use that I won't get the proper image like the fade effect I'm intended instead I'm getting this blocky mess of video corruptions I just I just can't use software only since the demand is so high it's too high to for my laptop to handle unfortunately I have no other powerful PC in my home 
uh, to deal with this video editing stuff. I have tried plenty of versions. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, well, that's more than one for sure. I I was using CC 7.0. Well, you get the idea if you watch the previous video. I just can't stand it. I just I just need to my video to be accurate, even though you just don't uh, you just don't just buy it. I'm annoyed. Like those color corruptions does not make sense. Like when I'm getting white instead of the matte color, and if the matte color bleeds uh, bleeds out to the upper video, even when it's dark by an effect. That's just total nonsense, and that's basically a glitch. Well, there there might be a trend to use some glitchy transitions and some well, in artistic purposes. But I'm getting these glitches all the time. Whenever in its very default, very pristine version gets glitched. And I'm just upset. Let me know if you have any idea, any remedy to overcome that. Basically, I want a video render that works like the software only version of Mercury Playback Engine. And, uh, well, I just need the software only version of the Mercury Playback Engine, but. I just don't want it to stress up my CPU usage to 100% and fill up my entire RAM. So do you have any idea on overcoming this yet? I just I'm just hard sick of it. And that's it.